So in this video, we're going to create a square base pyramid from this drawing here. So we've got 45 tall, 70 to the central point, and 50 square at the bottom. So we're going to begin by just constructing this view exactly. So I'm doing it in SolidWorks. If you're doing this actually by hand, then it's probably worth watching this video and fast forward to get an idea of the overall process. For SolidWorks users, I am going to be using the layers which I set up in my first video. If I click the end point and the line whilst holding down shift, I can choose a midpoint and that's going to secure that to the midpoint. It's probably also worth at this point saying that this is vertical and that this is horizontal. This will prevent any funky geometry later on. So the basic construction lines in place, I can swap layers to my dimensions, apply some dimensions. Swap layers to main lines and we can draw over this, we'll offset this is the distance of 45. Quickly cross reference our drawing 50 base, 70 tall, 45 high. Move this out of the way, tidy the dimensions up. And then once we've done that, we'll be able to trim our lines back. Escape out of the command, change layer to make sure that we are in our main line. And complete the front projection. So with that done now, what we need to do <clears throat> is to put some circular construction lines in. So choosing the circle, if I were going to swap to the construction line layer, construction lines layer now, choose a circle from the center to the very edge, from the center again to this edge. What we now need to do is drawing four lines. So this is going to be the first section, second section, third section, and the fourth section. Now I'm doing this backwards in CAD because I've got some tools to make my life easier. But what you would do on paper is measure that angle and in this case it's a rather long decimal place 39.307 and what I'm going to do is copy that dimension exactly change layers to dimensions I'm simply going to paste in that distance. And notice I didn't just type 39.31. Whilst that would have been near enough right, as soon as we have the facilities in SolidWorks to have it exact, we might as well have it exact. And I believe there is a way to set this up using relations, but for our purposes, this is perfectly good enough for now. <clears throat> so we're going to use the trim. Trim back some of the unwanted construction lines. We've also got a rogue dimension on the wrong layer, so we'll change that. And we'll readjust that back down to a sensible number of decimal points. And we'll begin to line in. So with the majority of the dimensions now displayed correctly, I can just put a little note here to explain 
what I've done. So in SOLIDWORKS, we've worked backwards to determine the angle. But if you're constructing this on paper, literally just measure this angle here and then plot it out bisecting the lines as you go. And that's the overview of the square-based pyramid.